guys, my name is Gabby and I'm going to be telling some experiences about Warp Tour. I'm also going to be giving you some tips and sharing some stuff I got from my haul. So enjoy! First things first, I think it'd be a really good idea if you brought a portable charger. Uh, one for your cell phone um, because it is going to die most likely because you're probably going to be using it in line. Um, you're going to be like, taking photos with it, recording, um, and you don't want it to die. So a portable charger is a good investment. You can get one for like 20 bucks at Target and they're very good quality as well. So yeah. So water is really important and you don't want to miss this one. Um, you really should bring a water bottle, like a plastic one, um, and an extra cap because they are going to take your cap most likely and um, if you want to save it and keep it in your backpack, an extra cap really will benefit you. So just like take one off the water bottle you already have maybe and bring it, hide it in your pocket or your bag. Some things that you should bring for signings. Um, you should definitely need some paper. This works best. But you know, uh, actually Bert from Trunk No Cap from Chunk signed this for me, so that made me really glad that I actually brought this. So that and two metallic sharpies and two black sharpies, because if you want the band members to sign something that's black or dark, then the metallic sharpies really come in handy, and black sharpies always come in handy. So money, money, money. Okay. So I would say probably bring about $110 to $150 because if you bring like $20, bucks, you are not going to be able to buy it. You're barely going to be able to buy lunch. So you should save up. I mean, if you're as happy to go as I am, like, you're going to you're gonna save up. I mean, I brought like maybe a hundred, a hundred something, like not lower a hundred and it was, it was enough. But if you're really hardcore about buying merch and like really cool things, then definitely bring more than a hundred dollars. Um, because also sometimes you're gonna have to buy something in order to meet a band. Because if it's a big band like Falling in Reverse, um, I had to buy this hoodie right here. It's really radical. I mean, look at this. It um, says Falling in Reverse and like. Lost to Vegas on the front. Um, it was forty dollars. Definitely worth it. Cause this, this guaranteed that I could go to the meet and greet, and that was like the best thing ever. So definitely, you want to bring enough money. You don't want to miss out on opportunities like that. No Prada, no Gucci, no Ray-Ban. For sunglasses, you want to go to Dollar Tree and get like a pair from there or like Target for five bucks. Because if you go moshing or crowd surfing those suckers are probably going to break, so you don't want your $300 sunglasses to be broken at the end of the day, so um, invest in a cheap pair to bring, so if they do break, it's not a big deal. Clothing, okay, so you really should not wear your favorite outfit because it's going to get really sweaty, uh, might get ruined, might get torn if you go moshing, um, I, don't even, I don't even know, like, there is a lot of things that could happen to your clothes, so, um, just wear something casual you don't really care about. I wore this, it's like Old Navy, three bucks. I could care less if it's ruined, so something like that. You don't have to make it dumpy looking, but um, you don't have to wear something super fancy either because no one's really gonna care. It is summer. This is a summer festival, not a winter festival. Even if it was a winter festival, you're gonna be dancing. If you're cool, you're gonna be dancing. So don't wear winter clothes. Like, don't wear turtlenecks, don't wear long sleeves, don't wear jeans. You're going to regret it. It's going to be really hot and you're going to get dehydrated, you're going to get overheated. So just don't wear winter clothes to Warped Tour. Something extremely important is sunscreen. Um, if you tan really easily and you don't want to get too tan, if you burn really easily and you don't want to come home with a bunch of sunburns, you should bring some sunscreen. I mean, I can understand because I can relate. I do not want to spend time at Warp Tour rubbing sunscreen on me. So I would bring some spray because that's easy. You can just spray it on and go. And it's portable too. So if you're the type of person who gets hungry really easily, um, bring some nuts. If you're allergic to nuts, bring Power Bar or something because you don't want to faint or get super hungry and like 
the food's pretty expensive so besides lunch I I would just stick with your own food I mean you can't really bring in a whole picnic but you probably could bring in some power bars or some nuts so that's a really good idea I did that actually carry all of your wonderful belongings um, I would bring a string backpack I think you guys know what I'm talking about it's like kind of a flimsy looking backpack um, the straps are like string like a uh, rope kind of looking um, usually you can like find some around the house I mean I found some from old fundraisers and like booths I went to in the past like um, advertisers usually give them out like very frequently so you could ask your friends if you don't have one or ask like your siblings they probably might have one so um, it's a good good thing to bring um, the only downside of it is when you jump up and down it's gonna hurt your shoulders like heck because the string will dig in but um, honestly anything on your back is gonna hurt when you're jumping so um, that's just something you kind of have to deal with so something really 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 important is deodorant um, you don't want to run into your favorite band member or someone really cute you want to go talk to and be smelling really bad so a small deodorant like those little travel sizes that's really important because um, you want to smell fresh and you don't want to smell like you've been in a pigsty so definitely bring some deodorant it really benefits you be warned there are some scammers in the parking lot and they're gonna try to get you to donate for some weird cause like some karma thing um, I made the mistake of donating when the, the dude said can you um, can you donate I was like sure so I gave him like two handfuls of pennies and um, he's like oh that's not enough that you need to give me more and I was like uh, I don't feel like I like I saved up for like like months for this I don't want to spend all my money on this cause that I don't really like know much about and plus he kind of smelled like drugs so I felt like it wasn't really a legitimate thing so if you run into anyone like that then you probably should leave them alone just say no I'm not donating so you guys might think this is kind of silly but I think it's cool um, if you meet a celebrity rock star guitarist drummer I don't know anyone it's really cool. You should tell them your name because it's like being friends with them. Like they know, oh, that's Gabby. Oh, that's like Mike. Oh, that's um, Sophia. Like they know who you are. Like even if they're not gonna remember you forever. Like super cool to know someone so talented and awesome. Like knows your name. So I think that's awesome. So if you get a chance. It's a fun thing to do. I think that because it's not every day that you'll see all these band members like walking around like. Are performing so um jump on that opportunity like meet as many as you can like as many as you want because they're a lot of them are really nice people like oh my gosh like um sydney from echo smith she's super sweet like and many other of um the rock stars are too like so definitely um interact with them because um it's a great thing to do so 2014 was the 20 year anniversary and that was really cool very lucky because it was my first year actually this year but, um, Alternative Press, um, they made a warped edition, like, for this year, and, um, it had, like, Made a Parade, Neck Deep, Issues, Echo Smith on here, so I actually got some people to sign this, like, um, I got Ice Nine Kills, autographs, um, got this wildlife, um, I, I got some really good stuff in here, so I'm glad I bought this, it was, like, six bucks, and now it's, like, special so um, you should pick up a magazine if like some people that are going to be there are on it or share some tips with you guys i'm going to share some experiences that um, happened at 2014 warped mountain view um i got to meet um ice nine kills um sydney from echo smith um this wildlife k flay um chunk no cap and chunks bert um it was like totally cool like all of them are like super sweet especially k flay um she's like awesome and if you guys haven't heard of her like definitely check her out like she just came out with a new album and it's amazing totally relatable 
kind of like alternative rap but with like melodies it's amazing so um they were just like awesome and I'm so glad they got to meet them like um most of them signed stuff for me um it was really nice and um I wouldn't trade those experiences for like the world so glad I glad I experienced it now I'm going to um show you some things that I got that I picked up some freebies and some things I bought so I got Life is a Dog, Faithfully's new album, and she signed it for me. Um, Get Scared, Everyone's Out to Get Me, great album, I actually like this one too. Um, Selfish Machines um, by Pierce the Veil, it's like their second album, and I really like this one too. So, um, Make Me Fade shirt, Faithfully, 25 bucks wear it all the time um what else like lanyard very useful um posters um and i had a guitar pick um yeah guitar pick um there's many other things like i got some stickers to like qbb records awesome stuff um so you're definitely gonna get some freebies at work and you're gonna like it i think so um next year i know it's pretty far away uh, it just ended actually but next year definitely go if you're in california um, northern california you should hit up mountain view that's like amazing if you're in southern california hit up pomona that's heard i've heard that's like amazing as well so um if you go, leave comments about your experiences below, and um, be sure to subscribe for more musical stuff, experiences, videos, album reviews, stuff like that, and I hope you guys all have a great Warped experience. Bye.